Spot of bounce, and it will be touched dead at the 44-yard line. So Bowling Green has 3.02 to work with. That's a 38-yard kick under pressure and into the wind. Coming up at halftime, our Duracell halftime report, Jerry Tarkanian fired at San Antonio. Also, the bowl blitz and Drew Bledsoe, a profile on him. Well, Jerry Tarkanian should remember, if they can fire Paul Brown, which they did at Cleveland Browns, uh, I guess everybody can get fired, but I'm sad to see that because I think Jerry Tarkanian is an excellent coach, and uh, when you come to Nevada, this is his city. Yeah, that's, that's true. Johnson and Smith, the setbacks this time. Play action. And the screen pass hit his offensive lineman. It was either Hamoud or Bowers in the back of the head. And the reason for it is Leroy had gotten around in front of the blockers instead of behind him. He dripped. He was drifting too far, Ron. You're right. I think they're going to hit. They may hit them with a penalty here. Well, you can't hit an offensive lineman. No. And, but I think what happened, the ball was behind the line of scrimmage, Joe. But Leroy Smith just got out of okay. where he needed to be on that screen. He drift, uh, just was drifting in front of his offensive lineman. And Leroy's coming off the sideline now to talk see, about it. Now the flag's been thrown. Mike, and, 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 and the question is, in, in your point, <laughs> if he was... If he was beyond the line of scrimmage, that's, uh, that's penalty. And that's what they've just thrown. He got into a conference and they talked it over. The umpire said, yes, he was. They had 2.54 on the clock for Bowling Green, and two timeouts left is an eternity with this offense. Yeah, that's the truth. Well, Eric White is just, he's pulling all the right uh, stops tonight. 13 to 20, 141 yards and a touchdown, but has just made some critical plays at, uh, at times when Gary Flappy's offense was uh, just trying to sustain first downs all the time. Bonner showing the pressure on the outside. Now they back off as you see the ships in the line and they go with the running play. And that's George Johnson who will be caught with a good open field stop at the 42 yard line. And it's Lamont Porter, number 49. He's a freshman from Sacramento. Rodden. Most of the passes, you see Lamont Porter, number 49, the linebacker, just reads the play, gets off the block. May have been a little holding there. Beats the hold and the block. Lamont Porter makes the tackle. But when you have the win like this and you have a third down and 13 yards, if you're going to air one out, you're going to air it out right now with Eric White letting it, throwing the ball deep. Well, the Green, six of seven on third down conversion. He's going to have to hurry. The 25-second block down to two. They get it away. Eric running for his life, but he's got some open field. And he'll run out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Brock Marion was out there to force him out of bounds. Pick up a seven yards on the play. Well, we finally see that Nevada, I think Eric White forgot what the down was on that play because he looked like he was coming right back out for another play, but he forgot he had his fourth down, so we finally get to see Bowling Green's punting team. <laughs> First punt for them tonight. Andy Tracy. See the numbers on him. His longest 48, and he's got a pretty good gale behind him. He might improve on that. Reeves from the 16. Look out. tackle down at the 39 yard line. Carlos Brooks is the man who could possibly have just saved a touchdown. 35 yards in the kick and Mike 45 on the return. Brian Reeves shows you the explosiveness he has as a receiver and a runner. As he makes the catch, now works upfield, avoids some tackles, makes some cuts. Avoids another tackle. Breaks to the corner and puts Chris. So Chris Vargas in there now in pretty good Vargas field position. Vargas comes in at quarterback. You're right. And he has 150 to work with. They're down 28 to 3 and they need some points badly. That pass Vargas is thrown pass complete. complete. Tried to get it out of bounds, but he will not. It's 81 Michael Stevens. Well, I like this Chris Vargas. Now, when I talked to him on the field the other day, I tell you, he's very confident. Uh, he just never gives up. And uh, this is a key drive for him. Even with 1.30 left to go in the half, he needs to get this team in the end zone. And they 
believe he's going to do it, Ryan. I'll tell you, every one of this team feels like he can lead the comeback. Here they come with the blitz from the outside. Looking pass over the middle, cut, and complete. And it's Michael Stevens, and then a flag comes in. That's going to be a face mask against Bowling Green's Carlos Brooks. Let's wait and see if it's a major or not. Well, he threw the ball in there. This is two impressive quarterbacks that Nevada has. Oh, that's a 15-yard. The foul is on the Falcon. No, Ron, Chris Vargas said the other day, he said, I prefer to start, but I'm a team player. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the, the attitude that I have, and he's right. Here's the quick slant. Michael Stevens, number 81. Carlos Brooks, number 10 on the penalty. And the magic man is at work. So 15 yards added on to the quick-looking pass. And the line of scrimmage now just outside the 10. And think of momentum with 1.14 left until the halftime. Bowling Green has controlled this first half. If Nevada can score right here, they take a lot into the locker room with it. They were down 49 to 14 to Weber State, and this young man, Chris Barton, has brought him back to win. Here comes the pressure. Look in pass. Complete at the six-yard line to Darrell King. Do that just a little behind him. Ron, you can just see this ball club just really kind of uh, just perks up when Chris Vargas comes on the field. No, they're having a little communication problem, so uh, Coach Alton wants a timeout, and they stop the clock with 50 seconds left until the halftime. So we'll take a break. 50 seconds left until the halftime, and we'll be right back to Las Vegas. Look, it keeps time, and it grates cheese. While some watchmakers brag about their new inventions, it is a stopwatch and mousetrap. Loris makes practical watches. They're water-resistant with stopwatches, alarms, calendars, quick-reading graphic timers, and now the Loris Vector, a digital compass built into a precision chronograph. So forget the new Breast Spray 9000. Mmm, quartz accuracy never tasted this good. Stick with Loris, the only time worth keeping. Gotta find that girl in Jordan's jeans. Prettiest girl I ever seen. Oh, slow down, baby, you got that look. Yeah, the way you shake, you really got me sure. Gotta find that girl in Jordan's jeans. Everybody hates to eat and run We'd rather take it slow But the way this life is going Gotta grab your food and go And with all that running round Catches up with you at last Get yourself some Alka-Seltzer And you'll feel better fast For acid indigestion Or heartburn with headache Nothing's faster or more effective than Alka-Seltzer Get yourself some Alka-Seltzer And you'll feel better fast the magic man that's what his teammates call him Chris Vargas a junior from Woodland California has thrown for almost 2100 yards this year at 13 touchdowns his club is in a big hole but they've got a second down at the Bowling Green six here comes the corner blitz gonna have to get rid of it quickly throws it at the one foot line Reeves. Ron Bowling Green's trying to blitz Chris Vargas, and I'm going to tell you something. He reads the blitz very well. They're going to use another timeout maybe here to stop this clock with 40 seconds. But he reads the blitz so well. Watch Bowling Green come with a blitz, but watch Chris Vargas. Three steps, bang, he's throwing before the blitz can get to him. And the wide-open receiver, I tell you, he's got some rhythm going right now. You see his receivers making their moves. Brian Reeves, number three, breaks outside. Look how close that is to a touchdown. Kenny Burris versus Brian Reeves. And the magic man is at work. You got to love it. College football, huh? <laughs> this guy's just come off the bench and really is going to try to get this team going. Mike, what is it with some youngsters? That, like he said, he doesn't care if he starts or not. Actually, it's a different kind of pressure to come off the bench because normally when you have to come off the bench, you're A, behind, or two, you're needed, or, or both. You're exactly right. You, what you just said was what he said. He said he knows when he comes in. And they're behind.